I'm going to start off this news video by by wishing uh, George Laroc absolutely the best right now as he continues to battle uh, the the COVID and all that wonderful stuff. Um, you know, it's it's 2020. It's the year that we just want to kick into the trash and forget it ever happened. But we've still got almost full seven months left of it. So what's next? Is that a comment? Anyways, um, there is supposed to be a comment in the sky this month. So <laughs> here we go. All right, first news item of the day is a signing. Uh, Miko Lettinen has signed a entry-level one-year deal with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Brilliant. Just going to say right now, absolutely brilliant. If, if he is as good as he's being portrayed, and now that he's been signed by the Leafs, we know we're going to hear a lot about it. Uh, if he's as good as, as has been portrayed, then they're, they're in good shape next year. This is going to make a lot of people mad who want to see the Leafs fail. It is. It's going to make people mad because this is an entry-level contract. This is an offensive-minded defenseman, something that they needed. And so now if they lose Tyson Berry, they've got Letton in for a heck of a lot cheaper than it would have been to keep Tyson Berry. And this guy's 26. So he's, he's all set. And uh, we'll see how things go. But all the reports out of the KHL and all the reports I read on him were pretty good. And this was before Toronto signed him, so... Looks like Toronto got themselves a steal. And the San Jose Sharks have made it official, according to uh, his his agent, Dan Melstein. Uh, Alexei Melnichuk has officially signed a contract with the San Jose Sharks, which helps the Sharks' goaltending depth greatly. Keep in mind, Aaron Dell probably on his way out. Is Jones on his way out? I don't know, but Melnichuk, 21 years of age, put up pretty good numbers in the KHL last year, so we'll see. Uh, you know, what we're looking at right now could very well be a renaissance of Russian goaltenders in the NHL. Uh, Russian goaltenders seem to be pretty darn solid. And we're we're going through a period right now where I can remember back in the early 90s when the Russians all started coming over. And the goaltenders, mostly uh, the ones that came over, it didn't work that well with. Now, obviously, Urbe had a decent run there. Uh, he's Latvian, though. People will point that out. So, Yeah. Uh, maybe we're seeing a renaissance of Russian goaltenders. It reminds me of back in the 90s when all the good young goaltenders were all French. They were all coming out of Quebec League. Um, that was the Patrick Waugh effect. Would this be a Nabok Nabokov effect, or is this just is this just how it is with Russian uh, players right now? But we'll see. We'll see if Melnichuk comes up and plays for San Jose this year. Uh, Vancouver has emerged as one of the bidders for games when slash if the NHL returns for summer, summer hockey. It makes perfect sense. Now, it can be challenging with the heat and the humidity in Vancouver to get good ice. Uh, the humidity being a big part of the problem. But if if they can make it work, I, I think they will. Uh, the, the numbers in BC have been good. And uh, really, in all honesty, the, the numbers have, have continued to be really good in British Columbia. Uh, they, they had uh, all the provinces that were lifting restrictions. They didn't show Van uh, BC because really we don't have that many restrictions. And because we really didn't need to, they just said, "Hey, can you stay home?" And we're polite, and we went, "Okay," and we did. So, uh, it's been it's been pretty good. And you've got hotels that are right around the arena that they can absolutely use. And I I, I think Vancouver would be a good choice. I was actually kind of surprised it wasn't mentioned before. Now, I kept thinking, why aren't they talking about Vancouver? Well, all right, but Vancouver would work because you have very low transmission rate within the community, and the the numbers have been good. Um, now, what is also what also came out yesterday, and some people lost their minds about this, is that if players come in to play in Canada, they have to go through a 14-day quarantine. It's required. But that's been required of anybody entering Canada for a long time. When Yvonne and I were talking about whether or not we might be able to salvage our Vegas trip in March, which we didn't, but if we had, we would have had to quarantine when we came back. When we came back, we would have been, been told, you have to stay home now for 14 days. And uh, so that's that's where it is. So basically, it just means that let's say they're going to start skating again at the end of May. Well, you, you bring them in, in the middle of May. So you just make sure they have that two week period. And then, uh, you know, after that, you're good. So and 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 I will say this, if if everybody's doing it, then yes, millionaire hockey players should have to do it as well. It's it's fair. So I it's it's fine with me. Um and we'll see what happens. But yeah, Vancouver's in the bidding process. And there was a poll that they took on ESPN. And I have a feeling that fans ag agree pretty, 
pretty widely. 65% of fans favor a return of hockey and then when they talk or sports in general and then when they say well do you favor it if the players are sequestered and if they're they're kept as safe as possible that number goes up to 76 percent so that means that if if sports can find a really safe way of doing this almost 80 percent of fans agree that 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 would be uh, something they'd want to see and the NBA, Major League Baseball, and NHL are all working on very similar models of how they how they would make this work and where. Uh, the NFL isn't making plans. But I will say this. The NFL not making plans to have games without fans in the stadium, they don't start playing until September. So they don't really have to worry about it, whereas Major League Baseball was supposed to be playing now. NBA would have been, you know, in the basically conference finals next week and, and and NHL as well. So this it's a different situation. So saying that the NFL isn't isn't making plans, it's because they don't really have to yet. They can just, you know, not worry about that for probably another couple of months. And then in July, if things are still kind of the same, then they're gonna have to start making plans. But uh things are things are looking pretty good and uh we'll see how how this works out down the road. I do think we get a draft in June, no matter what happens. And then whether we do or don't get hockey this summer, it's still in the air. But you guys know that as soon as anything's announced, I'll be here to make that announcement. And uh, thank you guys so much for all your support throughout this. It means a lot uh, to everybody who's given their support on Patreon, including at the, the $9 level, Anthony Garcia, uh, Brian and Sandy Bellick, or Bielek, uh, Chris Becker, Cody Beekman, Dalton Williams, Dan Snyder, uh, Fabio Tintinaglia, Forrest Dagg, Garrett Dowell, Heath Dusen, Jamison Sanders, Jet Reeser, uh, Joseph Wunderlich, Kevin Kearney, Kirkland Zielinski, Corey, cool enough to just have the one name, uh, Matt Duran Duranio, uh, Ola Albertson, Philippe Martin, or Martin, uh, Seth Douglas, Steelhead, Steve Correa, T-Bug, Two Cents Rugby, Venom 129, Vimeo and Harmat, William Wells, and Zemerid. So, an overdue in doing that. I apologize for that as well. But um, we're doing the, the, the Patreon live stream today as well. So, haven't figured out a time for that. Yvonne's mailing out masks. And we've got friends asking for masks and subscribers as well. So, she's trying to keep all of that in, in order and uh yeah so we're 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 doing well right now uh things are i think getting better they're talking about by middle of may opening up some parks and some some areas around here that have been closed for a while and uh yeah so i'm looking forward to that thank you guys so much for all your support like i said and i will talk to you again soon